So, uh, remember in my last video's description how I was jabbering on that I won't be uploading any videos past, say, six minutes? Uh, that was before I realized I finished this sketchbook. So, yeah. Enjoy the sketchbook tour. From me to you. What's up all you wonderful guys, gals, and ghouls? CJ here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to, I believe, my second sketchbook tour. Woohoo! So here we have a Strathmore mixed media 5.5 um, by 8.5 um, sketchbook. As you can see, it's been well loved. And I believe I started this sketchbook in August and I finished it a couple of days ago again this is before I realized like um, I made my last video and put that little blurb in my uh, last videos description so yeah let's get right into it let's see uh, oh yeah it actually says started August of last year and I finished it this year of this month like literally like a couple of days ago so yeah so this is one of my OC's if you've been following me maybe you recognize me as Osriel I was just you know playing around with markers and pen and sketched them out really quickly and put them against like a moonlit background or something also did my other baby um, in fees it's like having a good time and soon the clouds have gone away I can see clearly now the rain is gone. okay I'm sorry anyway but yeah him I think I was experimenting with those um oh my gosh the field sketch art watercolors I, oh, I do not like the watercolors I do not like those watercolors at all they look and behave horribly um I was like experimenting with highlighters but I don't know the highlighters were really fugly it came out fugly so I didn't use them anymore mm, this was I think I was at work on my break and um, I believe I was playing around with my co I know um, watercolor watercolors sorry and I did like a quick little thing of infuse again I didn't like it so I stopped so I'm like yeah I don't want it anymore One of the kids at my school um, wanted to like color something really quick. He started to, but I think he went home and it's like looked like this. And I don't mind. It's, it's okay. It's, it fills up a page. I'm fine. It's cool. Um, another picture of my baby Osmio. He's like holding like a gun. I gotta like practice drawing more guns. I mean, I like the way it came. I like the whole thing. It was just like a simple little marker sketch but or pen and marker sketch I should say and I do like the way it came out but I need more practice obviously more practice drawing weapons um you might have I believe yeah yeah I believe this one was actually from my sketchbook score sketch and talk time um volume four I like red I really love the way this came out. It's so cute. But yeah. Chibis! I did chibis of my babies as well. And just did like a little marker. I think I used Copic and a Hulu's around the corner. Just um, I wanted to do chibis. Um, <laughs> random eye in pen. Um, this was actually... and or art trade from another um, artist and I did her two OCs which I'm sorry I can't remember the name of but I believe I posted a video of these two on um, YouTube of course on my YouTube and the finished picture on my Instagram yeah that's that let me turn that back on and um yeah I just sketched it out with pen and 
try to do it with different colors and stuff. It was real fun. Some more chibis of my babies. Um, Catsy and Anomaly in the second form. They're all small and super deformed and chibified. It's in red pencil. Yeah, I use red pencil. It's kind of smeared, but yeah, it's not a deal. I still like it. Um, this was actually a part of not exactly Inktober, but it was around the same time. I think it was called, the challenge was called Botanical Witches. And so one of the prompts was cinnamon. So I quickly did this sketch of cinnamon witch. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But it came out, like I did like the bold accents. I really like the way that came out. And I did like red hots and like the cinnamon flower behind. Um, I believe this is part of one of my challenges is the human animal persona and I believe this is the Lulamoth and I put as the persona as a female obviously and I drew her like oh my gosh I forget the name and I don't know I, I know what the name looks like but I don't want to butcher it but it's the type of clothing the um the Indian dancers wear. It's like really beautiful and intricate, like the little designs and jewelry they wear. I thought that was really cool, so I did it like that. This is a part of the human animal persona challenge as well. Um, I believe that's the bone eating vulture and the king vulture. I really like the way they came out. It's like um, cool, like Mad Max feel, somewhat sort of. Especially her. Really proud of myself the way it came out like that. Um, this is it, it's part of the same challenge. Um, this one I did red the red wolf and I kind of did it as a persona. Um, well, I did do it as a persona as a female and kind of like a Power Ranger. I was kind of on like a Power Ranger kick for a little bit. Still kind of am, and um, just made up my own Power Ranger persona. Like the red wolf. Yeah. More chibis. Um, this is Notch, and this is my only character. It's smeared. I know it's kind of like you know, okay. paint from the other paint smeared. I believe this is part of my human animal persona challenge as well as Ladybug. Little thoughts cross my face and Ladybug on the shoot. Oop, I did the nose kind of weird, but oh well, it's over now. Ooh, yes, the tiger. Tiger. <laughs> this one was really fun to sketch out as well. Um, let me if I have a video on this one on my channel. I know a lot of these you probably already seen. I think you've seen this one as well. I made a video on this. And This is one of my other original characters. I don't think I ever found a name for her, but I don't know if she just popped up in my head when it was like, I gotta sketch you out. So I did. There it is. I really do like her. I need to find, I need to figure out a name. Can y'all help me with a name for her? Um, this is Osriel. I kind of gimped up the perspective on his arm right there, but eh, it's okay. I was happy the way I did, like, I bring the shadow around his face area, like, his eyes are glowing, but everything else above the nose is, like, in the shadow. I was really proud of myself the way I did that, but, yeah, kind of gifted up the arm. Um, I was playing around with gouache on these two. Like, for the most part, I'm okay with the way they came out, but... I guess gouache on like smooth surface paper doesn't really translate well, so yeah, there's that. It's like a um, like a space view of Earth and like a sunset like forest. And I didn't like a certain thing. Also did um, two of my other OCs, um, Bari and Moth, twin brother and sisters. Supposed to be the um, father and Auntie of Enfries. Yeah. Oh, yes. Exactly. So that's 
Osriel, that's Pimpies, want to do their faces, and I actually did this with, um, well I sketched it out with a mechanical blue pencil, and I like, colored these, or maybe not colored, but put like different shades and stuff with, um, water soluble um, graphite pencils from Derwent. I'll actually sh probably show that on a, another video. So yeah, do that with those. Oh yes, the chibis I sketched out for the stickers I'm making. I'm actually still working on these guys. So yeah, just keep an eye out for those. So um, Power Girl, um, Booster Gold, Fire and Ice, and um, I had another one. Well, I gotta go to the rest of the sketchbook. But I could have sworn it was on like, this page, and I guess not. So, yeah. Um, big fan of Justice League International. I really liked these characters. Oh, there he is, Captain Adam. And um, this was, I believe, from a challenge, um, like human personify, like your um, birth, your zodiac sign, your, your birth zodiac sign, whatever you want to call it. So my zodiac sign is Leo, so I did it like this. Really like how the um, colors came out, and really happy the way how I rendered her face. It was just like a cool little sketchy thing I did. Sketchy sketching watercolor. Um, one of my OCs. Oh yeah, that's small. That's empty stead. I actually colored. This isn't watercolor. This is um. Derwent ink tints pencils. I think I'm, I might do a video on the water soluble pencils and the ink tints pencils as well. And I did this like sketch up really quick of him using that. I like the colors are kind of muted, but as far as like getting your ideas out and putting color to a paper really quick without, I guess, without a watercolor palette, I, I think personally that um, they're really useful like that. Probably recognize this. This is from my um, turning cute guys and gals into, or turn to turning cute guys and gals from candy or into candy or something like that. I can't remember. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I just did like a quick mock-up color scheme, how I wanted to go. And even use like some wash colors to see how they would come out. And see the video of that. I guess you could say this would be like a sneak peek. Um, I have I have one more I wanted to do, and um, I'm not gonna say what the candy is exactly. If you're looking at this, I want you to try to guess what the last candy is going to be by these two markers. Just just guess. Give a well-rounded guess. Yeah. Um, I believe I did this picture of Osriel um, with the water soluble um, graphite pencils and just played around with like value and shadow. Again, I really like, I'm really happy the way that came out with the shadow like over his face and stuff like that. Really happy the way that came out. Um, this is just a simple like watercolor um, relaxation thing I guess like I just made sections with tape um, washi tape and just played around with watercolor and made like a cool like galaxy starscape and that's um, pretty much the same thing with the watercolors except instead of a starscape I drew like a hand with like an eye in it I don't know what it what is this with me and hands and eyes and stuff like that but they're, to me, they're really fun to draw and do like cool little things with it. And I use some um, um, pearlescent um, watercolors. The, yeah, it's watercolors. I uh, did another starscape, but um, instead of leaving it like this, like I tried to draw um, like a little background in these two, like um, silhouette, like 
I guess you could say these like the grass grasslands and some birds flying off into the sunset and you know the sun's just going down and there's like stars coming out and um I forget what observatory I used the like the picture from but yeah I don't know if you can see it it's kind of small but um it's two observatories on the hill and um you know the stars coming out as well I really really love how that came out I need to do more of these this was like so fun to do and I did like um flamingo shape with like silhouette of like palm trees in the back and I was playing around with um watercolors again as well use a lot of watercolors in this making flowers Ooh, I don't know. This is um, a quote I did from Ruby. I want y'all to guess what movies come, but I'll read out the quote. This is all those moments will be lost in time, like tears and rain. Just, just guess what movie that came from. I'm actually probably going to make a video on how to fill up a sketchbook. Or maybe not how to fill up a sketch, but ideas to fill up a sketchbook. And this is going to be one of those ideas that I mentioned. Here's another picture in um, like sunset or maybe sunrise. They're like how the colors and probably the stripies of the colors and trees. Power line with like the little dots of like birds on the wire. And, um, obviously. Oh, I thought I was stuck together. Yeah, these two and um, the other pictures like this were really fun to make. Um, I think again I was playing around with the Inktense pencils and um, the Jupiter. And speaking of Jupiter, this is probably one of the mock-up ideas I was doing. I was doing for um, turning your favorite Sailor Scout or Sailor Scouts into um, like a D and D like character. And this is one of the ideas that I came up with prior to finishing it. Um, some quick like pin like pose studies. Um, costume ideas I was going through. I think I ended up going with something like that. I thought I did something like that too. Oh yeah, I did. I did. So yeah, it's like close, very very close to the finish. Um, picture again um have a video here on youtube and there's like the um white and black like mini version of it see where i want to place like the lighting and how the light would like affect the picture and sketched out the um costume she was going to be wearing it's really happy the way that came out oh this is my sketchbook dump of all real yeah, I just played around with some pen and fine tech colors and watercolor. It was just fun to just, just, I don't know, scratch it out. Uh, this is my uh, mock-up idea for Mercury um, for the D&D, &D, Turn the Saint Scouts into D&D &D Characters Challenge. I'm actually going to do um, a proper picture of her traditionally so be on the lookout for that um i think i got this i was looking through instagram i was like looking through some mood boards and this girl she was wearing like a really interesting outfit or it was interesting to me and i just like quickly like sketched it out and painted it in drew a face really cool by the way i rendered the hair I don't know what it is about me and I and like making like blood child or something. I don't know. Like a weird obsession with that. But yeah, I think I did this with like a um charcoal pump. Yes, that's it. And um I colored it in with like some I think some copics and other use for like the red and blue. That and let's see. This is one I kinda doodled at work. I think again I was looking like through some pictures on Instagram and um really cool chick um she was like wearing like a band-aid over her nose and had like a pier some piercings um well she had a nose piercing and she had like this really like shiny like speckled like 
makeup all around her face. So I thought that was cool. Um, I don't know if you guys recognize this character, and this is actually a mock-up of an upcoming project as well. Actually, for a review, so yeah. Um, this is Mr. Guido from um, JoJo Golden Wind. He's one of my absolute favorite characters. I think Golden Wind is my favorite next to Stardust Crusaders. I can't wait for them to actually um, animate Stone Ocean so we can see JoJo. If any of y'all like follow JoJo's, you know. You know, it's kind of like blown up recently. But JoJo's like an old series, so yeah. I even did um, JoJo or Giovanna, Giovanni Giovanna. I think I'm, I think I'm butchering his name. But yeah, he's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's only freaking 15. Can y'all believe that? That's crazy. And I'm like, oh, y'all playing with people's emotions. Don't do stuff like that. But um. Yeah, I just wanted to sketch him out really quick, and I did really like how that blue came out, like, how it, like, contrasts this with him a little bit here. And again, playing around with some Fonte paints. This, I don't know, I just wanted to play around with watercolor and, um, my water, um, markers that I got from Wish, like, a while ago, and I just wanted to play around with those. And I did, like, half and half, like, half's, like, demon and half's, like, I guess not demon, but has horns as well. But I don't—I forgot what they call that. But yeah, did that. It's fun to make. And I think I was playing around with watercolor and the Dermot pencils again. Just did like a cool figure study, I guess. And since I when I was when I was finishing up this sketchbook, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I decided to do like a. Um, like mock up of how I wanted to start off my next sketchbook. Um, the other the sketchbook that I'm going to start will have my original characters in it, and I was just like doing like a mock up of how I want like stuff to go on the page. So it's like a bio info page, and this is this is just like a made up person. I'm not even like keeping him. Maybe I want. I don't know. But um, his name's like blah blah John Doe, and it's like blah 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 that, and that. It's like a page spread, some more info, chibi face, and then like a view of like the costume that they'll be wearing, some faces on the side, like that. That's how I wanted to like set up my character profile pages in my new sketchbook, or the sketchbook I'm starting. And, oh yes, it says I finished it April 1st, April 1st, 2009. So yeah, that was literally like not too long ago. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that is the end of the sketchbook tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know my um my first sketchbook tour, it was like like an hour long, like an hour and some minutes long, and um people were they weren't complaining, but they were like, oh my gosh. Um, sketchbook tour is cool but it's so long I had to like stop and come back at a different time I'm like oh my gosh guys I'm so sorry I I don't know like when I'm with people like I hardly say anything but when I'm by myself I, I don't know I just talk and I, I think I was just excited to like share that with you all and um but I guess it's 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 good to find like the good meeting spot you know not too short, but not too long. I believe I know this video is not gonna be as long as the last one. There's no way. Um, but I know that I could probably go back and talk y'all's ear off about every single page in this sketchbook, but I'm not going to do that. But if you would like to learn more about any of the pictures in here, um, please feel free to comment and ask me questions. Um, what was your favorite? picture that you saw in here or you know yeah that so um again thank you guys for joining me and now <laughs> now I will go on like a mini hiatus again videos will be sparse 
three to six minutes they'll probably like quick little pencil sketches or maybe like little watercolor and gouache studies nothing too intense I just wanted to take a break from YouTube as far as um, editing and video um, editing videos and making them and stuff it's really fun to do it's just really time-consuming and um, just wanted to go off the time that I was using to do that I was kind of not spending time with my family so kind of want to step away a little bit but I promise I will be back with um, product reviews oh yeah I got a couple of product reviews I want to show y'all um, new ideas that I want to show you as well but um yeah just keep an eye out for that and yeah so um again hope you guys enjoyed this tour and I will see you guys on that final frontier bye 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 I'm gonna go eat now I'm hungies